Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, retold by Megan Bender, illustrated by Vesper Stamper. Alice was getting sleepy at the riverbank. The book her sister was reading didn't have any pictures in it, so Alice thought it would be more fun to pick flowers. But the day was hot, and she was tired, so Alice decided to rest in the grass instead. Suddenly, a white rabbit ran past Alice. But it wasn't just any white rabbit. This white rabbit was wearing a waistcoat and a pocket watch. Oh dear, oh dear, he said. I'm running late. Wait, where are you going? Alice asked the white rabbit. But he ran past her and disappeared down the rabbit hole. So Alice followed him. Alice fell into a deep well. Her fall was slow and lasted so long, she thought she'd fall all the way to the other side of the world. Just when Alice began to think she'd never land, she did, just in time to see the white rabbit running away. Wait! Rabbit, where are you going? Alice said, but the white rabbit vanished around a corner. Alice followed him to a long hallway filled with locked doors and found a key sitting on top of a small table. She tested it in each door, and only the smallest door opened. Alice was too big to fit through the door, so she went back to the table, hoping to find something that could help her. There was a bottle marked, Drink Me, and a cake marked, Eat Me. So Alice took a few sips and a couple of nibbles until she was the perfect size to fit through the door. Once Alice walked through the tiny door, she finally caught up to the white rabbit. Mary Ann, the white rabbit said, mistaking Alice for his housemaid. I need my gloves and my fan. Will you go in the house and fetch them? Alice did as the white rabbit asked and went looking for his things. Inside, Alice saw another bottle marked, Drink Me, so she took a sip. Alice grew and grew and grew and didn't stop growing. She was getting so large, her arms were growing out the windows, her legs through the front door, and her head was forcing its way out of the roof. The white rabbit was angry Alice destroyed his house, so he threw pebbles at her. Fortunately, the pebbles turned into tiny cakes instead, so Alice ate one, hoping it would make her small. And it did. It made her very small. When she was small enough to leave the house, Alice ran into the woods. Alice wandered the woods, wondering what she could eat to return to her normal size. She found a giant mushroom and climbed to the top where she met a blue caterpillar puffing on a hookah. Who are you? The caterpillar asked. I'm Alice, she said, and she told him about her dilemma. The blue caterpillar told Alice if she ate one side of the mushroom, she would grow larger and if she ate the other side of the mushroom, she would get smaller. Alice nibbled from both sides until she returned to her normal size. Alice continued traveling through the woods and came across the Cheshire Cat. Alice asked him where she should go, but he smiled at her and said, It doesn't matter where you go. You will end up somewhere. Alice was confused so he told her to visit the Mad Hatter and the March Hare for tea. Once she got to the tea party, Alice was troubled by the madness of the Mad Hatter and the March Hare. Neither of them made any sense, so she left the tea party and made her way to the Royal Garden. There, two gardeners shaped like playing cards were busy painting the roses red. They had accidentally planted the white roses instead, and everyone knew the Queen of Hearts only liked red roses. Suddenly, the cards dropped to the ground and bowed. When Alice turned, she noticed the Queen and curtsied. Who 
are you? the queen asked. When Alice explained, the queen invited her to a game of croquet, and Alice accepted the invitation. Alice had never seen such a wild game of croquet. Live flamingos served as mallets and live hedgehogs as croquet balls. Alice didn't enjoy the game very much because the queen didn't play nicely and threatened to cut off everybody's head. Alice had a few moments to rest after the croquet match before she was ordered to attend court. The knave of hearts was on trial for stealing the queen's tarts. Alice saw many familiar Wonderland faces take the stand, including the Mad Hatter. Alice was also ordered to take the stand, even though she said she didn't know anything about the missing tarts. The Queen of Hearts didn't believe Alice and ordered the deck of cards to seize her and to chop off her head. Just as the deck of cards reached for Alice, she began to scream. Alice, wake up! her sister said. You're having a bad dream. Alice opened her eyes and found herself back at the river bank. You've been asleep for hours, Alice's sister said. Come on, let's get home for dinner. <laughs>